four, three, two, one. It's fall, y'all. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. Five touchdown Fayetteville. We'll see you next time. That was the FHS TV program reel created by producer Caroline McCone. We are very pleased to have that representing us this year. I really enjoyed it. Coming up on this episode, a group of students work within the school to celebrate diversity. Also, a quick recap of a national competition for television and film. Plus, the spelling abilities of students are tested with a surprise spelling bee. I'm Kay Gassman. And I'm Jackson Bollier. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. Welcome back to the Bulldog Weekly. Today is April 2nd, 2018. Thank you for joining us. And we are so glad to be back after spring break. Although you may have noticed there wasn't a show the past couple of weeks. The FHS TV and film programs hit the road and headed to Nashville, Tennessee for the Student Television Network, a national competition for all film and television students. Carter Gray, Kate Harmon, and Elizabeth Willis created a convention recap that shows what STN is all about. STN has a rhythm. It's not palpable and it's not visible. You can't hold it in your hands, and you can't show it to your friends. You can't lean on someone else to do it for you, and you can't walk away when it gets hard. Estienne is a song that you have to write for yourself. We are all a part of this immense symphony we call Estienne. Lost in the beat, we fall into a rhythm. The ideas fall into places like pieces of a big puzzle. This rhythm we've worked so hard to create, strived countless hours to perfect. It fails us. It's one little thing forgotten. One forgotten SD card. Two minutes too late. Three thousand other competitors. It's the thrill of turning in and the blow of watching your dream walk away in that basket just seconds too late. But the rhythm never stops moving. This rhythm keeps us moving coast to coast, forward and backward, up and down. We never stop for disappointment. We never stop for joy. We run with the rhythm that sounds the song of our future, where the sharps are our highest points and the flats are our lowest. STN has a rhythm, and us, we hold the drum. The FHS Film Department brought home a national award for their short film, placing fourth in the nation. Congratulations to them and all other students in that place. Now for some world news. Kim Jong-un made a surprise visit, the first since 2011, to Beijing during which he met with the Chinese President Xi Jinping to discuss giving up their nuclear weapons supply. Since then, he has agreed to a meeting with the South Korean leader on April 27th, and he has also expressed interest in meeting President Donald Trump. President Trump has released that he's looking forward to their meeting, but there must be strict precautions be put in place. The Bulldog Company has hidden Easter eggs throughout campus for students to find. Inside, there are prizes and coupons that students are able to redeem. 
In addition, the Bulldog Company is having a sale on their winter apparel. The store is open all three lunches and can be found in the cafeteria. The Student Council applications are available in Ms. Little's office in Phase 3, third floor. The applications are due April 11th. The voting will begin on April 16th and the results will be posted on April 18th. All applications for concurrent or concurrent virtual courses for next year must be turned in to the counselor's office by April 12th. Along with the applications, students need to bring the required materials and their test scores. If not turned in on the deadline, a student's first request will be replaced with their first alternate class. The Glass Slipper Prom Project is now accepting cash donations for students in need this prom. The money will go towards tuxedo rentals as they are looking for outfits for 20 boys. If interested, the donation link can be found on the student announcements. Students are able to enjoy a wide variety of clubs on campus that do their part for the school in their own ways. And there is one club that's goal is promoting diversity and providing for the school, while also making lifelong friendships. Here's reporter Talia West with the story. PDS, or Promotion of Diverse Students, is an inclusive club that helps promote students from race, culture, to those who've experienced adversities. From hosting their annual Boo Bash to promoting Black History Month in February, PDS is very unique. The acronym stands for uh, Promotion of Diverse Students, uh, but I think like really it like stands for just uh, like being like a voice for like those uh, for those that don't really have one. Actually, at first, it was an accident when I, I walked in to talk to Miss Caston about some homework assignment. I don't even remember. But what, uh, when I walked in, Ty was giving this speech. And as I started walking towards Miss Caston, I started listening more and more. And he was telling a story that I'd never heard before, this new perspective on life, and I'd never even thought about it. And it was so profound to me that, he li that other people live in this, um, this reality that's so much different than yours. And I thought, wow, people really need to hear this because life isn't just about you. It's about other diverse um, situations that other people live in and other realities uh, within other people's minds. And this club has been really eye-opening for me because it showed me that life isn't just about me. It's about other perspectives and other people. Throughout the year, PDS participates in events such as the Bulldog Angel Tree during Christmas time, the annual MLK Banquet, and volunteering their time at the local middle schools. The main event they host every year is Boo Bash. Boo Bash is more than just another dance during Halloween. The purpose for it has an impact meaning on the students in the club. Boo Bash started, I really don't know exactly when it started, but um, we've kind of revamped Boo Bash over the years, and we, kind of, we actually netted in around $10,000 of this past Boo Bash. We want to thank everyone for participating, and um, the money is actually going to go to help uh, fund scholarships for our different minority students here in the club. Um, we also put a lot of work and hours into it when it's contacting vendors, contacting uh, the resource officers or staff, when you go out and buy do donations. The club is um, essentially just all student driven and um, Ms. Cass and Mr. Collier and Dr. Hoy, they do help a lot too. Everyone is welcome to join PDS no matter what race you are. For those of you who are seniors, please be sure to stop by for our amazing scholarship opportunity. For the Bulldog Weekly, I'm Talia West, back to the desk. Thanks, Talia. PDS is just one of the many clubs that has taken upon themselves to give other students a voice. Tryouts for the tennis team are coming up. Girls are April 9th through the 11th, and boys are April 11th through the 13th. Both are held from 5 to 9 p.m. at the FHS Tennis Complex. Physical athletic packets are required the day of the tryout, and those can be found on the student announcement webpage. Dog Crew is looking for photos of seniors for the slideshow at this year's Senior Breakfast. All photos must be sent to their email, dogcrewclass at gmail.com. The only requirement is that all photos must be of FHS seniors and baby photos cannot be submitted. Having a perfect ACT score and being a National Merit finalist are an enormous achievement, but simple spelling skills are just as valuable. Reporter Libby Gowan dished out some difficult words to students to test how well they spell in a surprise spelling bee. Throughout elementary school, students are tested on their ability to spell. But in high school, how much do the students remember from these childhood tests? Spell kernel. Okay. Spell disease. Oh, Lord, I can't do this. <laughs> it's okay. Spell entrepreneur. E N T E R P E N C E R N E L. It's C O L O N E L. <laughs> Spell Parmesan. P A R M E S E A N. <laughs> that was close, but there's not an E at the end. 
spell recommend? <laughs> R E C E. <laughs> Wait, I need a piece of paper. No. <laughs> e N T R E P E N P R E N E U R. Yes, yes, you win. D R E E S E A F E. <laughs> R E C Rec E M E N D recommend R E C O M M E N D spell business B U S I N E S S I guess what you don't use you lose from the Bulldog Weekly I'm Libby Gowan back to the desk Thanks Libby while those words may be challenging, all those students get an A for E-F-F-O-R-T. The Mr. FHS pageant is on April 16th from 6 to 8 p.m. In addition to the show, a silent auction will take place that all are welcome to participate in. All proceeds from the auction will go to Restore Our Humanity, a local charity that helps third world countries. Tickets cost $5 for students and $7 for adults. Students, speakers for the 2017-2018 graduation ceremony are now being taken into consideration. All speeches must be turned in on May 3rd by 4 p.m. If selected, trials will be held on May 7th in the Black Box Theater. The criteria and trial information is available on the school website or see Mr. Cooper SQ for more information. The 26th Club is now accepting sophomore applications for the 2018-2019 school year. All applications can be picked up in room 3302. The deadline for turn-in is April 13th by 3.50 in room 3302. All sophomores are encouraged to apply if they want to help plan school events like homecoming and colors day. After last year's success, the library is hosting another Marvel vs. DC chess tournament on April 6th during A&E. Sign-ups can be found on the student announcements page to reserve a spot on the board. All will be accepted no matter their experience level. After the break, this week's Bulldog Sports Report with Jay Beasley. See you in 30. Welcome back from the break. Hope it was filled with madness. By that, I mean March Madness. And for everyone that's entered a bracket, if you haven't checked lately, you didn't quite get that perfect bracket. According to Time.com, after a series of major upsets in this year's NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament, not a single March Madness bracket remains unbusted. You can thank the underdog Loyola Chicago, standing at that 11 seed, by shocking the nation in that Final Four appearance. The National Championship is being held tonight in San Antonio at 9 o'clock. While many students relaxed over the break, the baseball team headed all the way down to Arizona and went 3-2 in their tournament. After taking on the Arizona Heat, the team is back here in the cool northwest Arkansas weather and will be taking on the Rogers Mounties on Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Kicking it over to soccer, the girls and boys soccer teams are continuing their season. They'll be playing Harvard tomorrow here at 7. Track will be coming out of the blocks this Thursday up in Rogers and the softball team will be playing at the Salem Springs Tournament this Friday through Saturday. As always, make sure to come out and support the dogs. Back to the desk. That's all we have for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, FHSTV Fayetteville High, for all new shows and live events. And follow our Instagram page at FHS Bulldog TV and our Twitter page at FHS underscore TV to stay up to date with the news around the school and in the community. I'm Jackson Bullier. And I'm Kate Gasman. We'll see you next time. A couple of shows went, no, what? Am I doing? You may have noticed there wasn't a show the cap. Well, no, what? In meeting Donald Trump. Nope, President Donald Trump. Not just Donald. Well, first request will be no. 
the students are unable. Oh. oh shoot! The art for the tennis team is coming. Up. That was so good. <laughs>